Huh. So this is Great Mazuri's village. First, we must talk with the village elder. Everyone follow the Great Mizuti. The Great Camero is currently having a very important discussion. Might I ask you to come back later? Too bad. I guess we could take a look around the village while we wait. I agree. I'm interested in how people live their lives. I'd like to talk to as many as I can. You'll be invited to stop by the Great Mizuki's place. Okay, let's go then. Mizuti? When did you come back? The great Mizuti has just returned! How be you, Ki? I'm fine. I heard you had a hard time up there. Everything okay? The great Mizuti be in tip-top shape. <laughs> as well as invincible, incredible, indomitable, and insurmountable. Yep, that's the Mizuti I know. Hey, Ki, you must be happy. Mizuti's back. Now you have someone to save you from the big bad bullies, sissy boy. Hey, you watch your mouth. It's okay, Mizuti. But. <laughs> I don't mind. No. Okay, Key. The great Mizuti has some important business and must go. Okay. Tell me about your adventures when you have time. By yourself. Do you have any idea how worried I was? 
Come now, dear. Our child has returned to us safely. Mizudi just couldn't sit still after finding out that something terrible was happening to the world involving the Earth sphere stolen from our ancestors. Besides, considering what Mizuti has accomplished, I'm proud of the kid. Vika! There you go again. You're spoiling our child, you know. Anyway, I am so happy to see you home safe. Welcome back, Mizuti. Good to be back home, dear mother. So, all this really happened up there. To tell you the truth, Mizuti is the most powerful wizard in this village. Perhaps Mizuti was much more sensitive to the dangers up above than any of us were. About a month ago, Mizuti said someone needs to check on the outside world. And just flat out left. We were so worried. But our child is back home again, safe and sound, thanks to all of you. Our apologies for any mischief Mizuti may have caused you. Oh no, don't mention it. The great Mizuti saved the day more than once. The great Mizuti? Mizuti, you're not calling yourself great again, are you? Hmm, well... Mizuti! How many times do I have to tell you? A truly great person would never show off his importance. <laughs> Come now, come now. It's been a while since we last got together as a family. I wouldn't be so picky. On the other hand, Mizuri, your mother is right in a way. I wouldn't feel comfortable calling myself the Great Ko. It's just not polite. Kaka, what has been taken? Speaking of great, have you had a chance to talk with the great Kamro? He was really worried about you. You should go let him know you're safe. But the great Kamro, he'd be having an important discussion. An important discussion? Ah, I think I know who he's talking with. I heard Sir Crumley's in town. If it's him, their talk shouldn't last too long. I don't think they have much to discuss. Understood. But we do think we'll all say hello. Yes, you go al- Behave yourself when you talk to the great Comro. You hear me? Of course. Okay, let's go everyone.
Excuse me, young lady. Could I have a look at that pendant you're wearing? Mm -hmm. Of course. Thank you. Very interesting. Have you folks ever heard of an ancient artifact called the Earth Sphere? Mizuti's ancestors, the great wizards of old, made it to seal the bodies of the dead gods within the five islands. I believe that pendant of yours is the Earth Sphere itself, yet it seems to have been shattered. So what you have there is actually only a piece of the Earth Sphere. So this is the Earth Sphere. Two hundred years ago, a man named Calvin came down from the sky. He stole the Earth Sphere from us and took it back to the sky with him. It must have been owned by a great many people through the ages, yet here it is again, back in the twist of fate, perhaps. Lord Calbrand's ancestor? He stole the Earth Sphere? I guess since Lord Calbrand's ancestor stole it, it was stored at the Duke's Manor for quite a while. Then Melodia must have found it there, and secretly passed it on to Geldeblin. Then you swiped it from him! It all makes sense now. So the Earth Sphere was used to seal the gods' parts as N. Magnus deep underground, which is why it could also be used to awaken them. Young lady, even though it may be broken, the Sphere is still a very sacred artifact. It may prove useful to you someday. Please keep it safe. Yes, I will. About a year ago, our elder, the Great Camro, had a vision. It foretold the rebirth of an evil god. Ever since then, we've been paying a great deal of attention to the nations of the sky. As the seals of the End Magnus were broken one by one, even down here beneath the tank clouds, we could feel an evil power brewing. We no longer wield the power held by the great wizards of old. There was little we could do to stop such an evil from resurfacing. Mizuti must have overheard the adults talking about it, and set off immediately trying to save the world alone. Wow, to save the world alone? That's pretty reckless for a great Mizuti.
The great Camro is having a very important discussion. Camro, do you intend for us to rot down here in these paint clouds? Now that the evil god is awakened, what is the point of sitting here doing nothing? I've waited long enough. That old goat. He has no clue whatsoever. That is Sir Crumley, chief of a neighboring village. Please don't mind him. He always gets worked up like that when talking with the Great Camro. Their discussion seems to be over. The Great Camro will see you now. Great Camro, the great Mizuti has just returned. Um, is this he? The great Camro? Correct. Welcome home, Mizuti. It must have been awful for you up there in the sky. Your efforts are appreciated. No problem. Anytime. Piece of cake. People of the sky. I bid you welcome to the village of Genma. It seems you've taken good care of our Masudi. Please, accept my thanks. No, no. Thank you. Thank you for helping us out of that tight spot the other day. Masudi called to us, so we hastily attempted a sealing spell. Yet, the power of the evil god was immense. Honestly speaking, I was unsure what would become of us. Without your help, we'd have been killed by Mel Percio for sure. Thank you so much. It was the least we could do. As you must know from seeing our village, we no longer possess the powers once wielded by the wizards of old. A thousand years have passed since our people started living in these poisonous conditions. Devastated from battles with the gods, our magic has all but withered away. As I'm sure you recall from your confrontation with Malpercio, even the combined power of our villages did little more than slow the creature down. Many of us collapsed after the effort. Regretfully, we no longer have the power nor the will as a people to leave the taint clouds and face Malpercio. But Mizuri is a very strong child, with potential rivaling that of the ancient wizards. It's almost as if Mizuti were one of our ancestors, reincarnate. Perhaps this potential is why the child has always been somewhat different from the others in our village. I'd say it was a blessing in disguise for her to have gone up there and found all of you. Although facing great dangers in the sky, she needs companions such as you to help develop her potential. She? You... You mean the great Mizuti is a... she? Oh, you didn't know? Learn something new every day. According to one of our village legends, a thousand years ago, our ancestors used three sacred artifacts to defeat the gods. The Sword of the Heavens, the Ocean Mirror, and the Earth Sphere. The Sword of the Heavens, the Ocean Mirror, and the Earth Sphere. And the Ocean Mirror is... The Ocean Mirror was given to the people of the Icelands by our ancestors. It's been shattered, and the Earth Sphere is in pieces. But the third artifact, the Sword of the Heavens, is still safe here in our lands. It should prove a great help when facing Malpercio. 
as it was against the gods some thousand years ago. Where can we find the Sword of the Heavens? It is kept in the Garden of Death, just north of this village. Here, take this key. Use it to unlock a door deep within the garden. All right, let's go down there and get the Sword of the... Callus. Huh? You seem to have a mysterious friend with you. It is a pleasure making your acquaintance. The children of the Earth welcome you, brave spirit. You have fought courageously side by side with your friends from the sky. Please strive on, so that the world may not fall into darkness. Callus, you and your spirit friend just may be the key to restoring our world. Huh? Hmm. You should go now. Please be careful. Long, long ago, when the world was still lush, green, and had a blue ocean, there lived huge creatures with terrible powers. People were awed by them and called them gods. The Lord of the Trees, of the Water, of the Clouds. They were sibling gods of Malpertio. The wise and old great whale living in the ocean was one of the gods too. In ancient times, gods and men maintained a peaceful existence. Yet about a thousand years ago, a war erupted between them. It is said that the cause of the conflict was man's invasion of the gods' territory in an attempt to expand their lands, but no one knows exactly what happened. Vicious battles ensued between god and man. Eventually, the men emerged victorious. The creatures who followed the gods and fought for them were exiled, sent to a dark corner of another dimension, along with their stronghold, Kor Hydra. Our ancestors, the ancient children of the earth, were wizards. Having defeated the gods, after a long and arduous struggle, they decided to take the dead gods apart, sealing each of them in five separate islands and magically raising them into the sky. The earth had been ravaged and poisoned during the war, so any future hope of survival was set afloat in the sky. Those islands are your homes now. Sadal Sud, Diadem, Anue Nue, Mira, and Alfard. Five islands in the sky. Even after death, a strong power resided in the corpses of the five floating islands have prospered until today, largely due to the power of the gods buried within them. It is said that they buried the gods' bodies separately so as to prevent them from returning to this world ages later. It is also said that different parts of the gods' bodies were chosen for burial, resulting in diversity among the inhabitants of the sky. Yet, this worked against us. 
Who could have imagined that after so many years, someone would attempt to fuse those parts together again? After the war with the gods, the wizards remained on the earth. They stayed to prevent poison that had engulfed the land from reaching the sky, and also to purify their lands. That is the purpose of the Taint Clouds. For a thousand years now, the Taint Clouds have covered the entire earth. Thank <laughs> you. 